Guys, Sky the Real Ninja here, back from a cold and to my second Feed the Beast video. And ideally, I probably shouldn't upload this whole week, but I want to stick to my schedule for you guys. So here I am. <coughs> so this is my pie altar. There's pie in here, lots of it. Enough for all of my life needs. And this is an ender chest in case if you're wondering, and this is coded so I can, in essence, teleport items around. So, let's show you the workings of this factory. Let's start with the sugarcane farm. So, in essence, that's my new catchphrase for today. Um, when sugarcane reaches its peak height, which is three blocks tall, it gets harvested and sent to the sugarcane harvester, which is powered by a sterling engine, which is powered by coal. Which you have to come and refill, unless you have like a coal factory somewhere. So... You saw all that. And the sugarcane harvester brings all the sugarcane it harvested to this pipe, which you won't see, to this sugarcane ender chest. And you won't see anything in here because of this. This is the sugarcane processor. It takes a sugarcane in here, turns it into sugar, sends it up packing off to here. Now let's show the pumpkin farm, which is right there. Here is the pumpkin farm. 42 pumpkin stems. Every time it grows a pumpkin, these block breakers will pick it up, send it to these pneumatic pipes, and send it to this ender chest. I guess a demonstration would be better, actually, so pumpkin. So let me just cheat myself a pumpkin and let's just place it right here. Now that redstone signal uh, sends it off to the center chest and in, just in case if you don't know all ender chests with the same color code up here are linked. So there if you just watch that ender chest that opened when I opened it shut when I shut it and these, this weird thing that is evidently not redstone is a red alloy wire. Just think of redstone, but it doesn't need a repeater. It can carry a pulse indefinitely. I mean, for as long as you want it to. And it can also head up walls. That's kind of cool, I think. And it's incredibly useful, but it's also a bit more expensive. But since I built it in creative mode, just who gives a what? Now, on to the Brick House of Doom. Okay, don't even ask me why I call this the Brick House of Doom. It, I guess, might have to do with all this chicken loot here, but then that chicken loot might have to do with this thing here. So, in essence, let's just pick that block. There's a bunch of chickens lying in here. And same story on the other side. Those chickens come to a half slab here. And that half slab is... A unique design that will basically chickens can't cross it but eggs can slip under it and head to this water stream and the water stream will let items flow to this obsidian pipe here obsidian pipes are awesome things they can pick up any loose items in the area like that egg see <coughs> that egg will go to this ender chest and the reason there's nothing in it is because of what I'm about to show you right now. The pie maker. So how this works is we've got a pie recipe here. Pies are actually shapeless, so you can make them however. But I just like to make it like that. And currently, the sugarcane bar is already filled up here, so it just throws them off to the side. And the eggs... Um, will fill up very soon, so it'll start throwing off to the ear. <coughs> the pumpkin farm is somewhat of a drag, since pumpkins don't grow that fast, as opposed to sugarcane and eggs. They're more of a drag than I'd like them to be. So, as a result, generally when a pumpkin comes, a pie is made. So, for the sake of this demonstration, let's add, add a pumpkin. Now, our pumpkin is coming. Let's just watch it. And now, two pumpkins. Now, everything got subtracted, and a pie comes out here. And as I'm sure you know by now, these ender chests, this ender chest is linked to the one in the pie altar. So, 
yep, this is it. And thanks for watching. I tried to keep this short for your guys' sake. And there's also a world download in the description. So if you can't make this world or you're just too lazy to, then just go ahead, download it, and put it in your saves folder. So yeah, thanks for watching.